Greetings everyone and welcome back to a new video. Cryptic wants to know, do you believe in a no-win scenario? And Cher wants to know if you believe in life after love. So I have to say, something inside me says, I really don't think you're strong enough. Okay, enough of that. Let's go ahead and take a look at this event and it starts tomorrow on PC and goes through September 14th. It is a rerun of the Arena of Sompek and the Kobayashi Maru. And we have some uh, interesting details here about these two. It is part of the event campaign three, so you're gonna wanna make sure you do it no matter what. And uh, if you're behind and you do the buyout, you can continue to do it. So we're starting to get near the end. This is the second to last event. If you're really far behind, uh, the buyout is not just a way to replace doing the event, it's on top of. So you'll get the 700 progress and then you can keep playing it during the period and get even more event progress. But let's go ahead and talk about the event. Uh, Sompak is a uh, ground event. There's going to be uh, seven waves. Kobayashi Maru is in space and there's going to be six waves of enemies. And uh, here's the part that's really interesting to me. Uh, these have a fixed duration, so uh, there's no win condition. There's also no fail condition, so you will succeed no matter what. And uh, they have no cooldown, and it gives a choice of marks. So I think this is going to deteriorate into a first contact day situation where um, you, you queue in, at least after a few days, and everyone's going to be AFK, and you're just going to sit there for the allotted time. The, it's going to end, you're going to get your marks, and then rinse and repeat. So if you need marks... Uh, for the reputation system, this might be a good way to get it, but I have a feeling very quickly, unless they have a uh, AFK or lever system that's uh, actually working, uh, you're not going to get people to actually participate. If you actually want to do the events and really put the effort in, you're probably going to need to get a pre-made for that. But uh, anyway, so that's the events. Let's go ahead and take a look at the reward. It is a ground kit module. It does some kind of AoE fragile stun thingy. Uh, I'm not really much of a ground player, but uh, you know, maybe I'll do a video on it. I am gonna do the buyout, so uh, there should be a video, uh, a short one coming on that pretty soon after I do the buyout. And uh, yeah, and then all the other stuff about the event campaign, none of that's really changed. Legacy progress, blah, 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 blah. But, that is the uh, some big news coming out right now because it is part of the event campaign three. I thought really got to talk about it. So thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Well, uh, this is hilarious. <laughs> oh, the community went and monkey pawed itself. People have been asking Cryptic to please give us some more dill sinks to fix the dilithium exchange. And their response is to start charging dilithium for things you used to get for free by playing the game. And uh, like I said, I find that pretty funny because I don't really have a dog in this fight. I've uh, explained my position on these issues quite a few times. I know I'm at odds with a lot of people on that. People aren't going to disagree with me. Uh, I will say this seems like a bad idea on their part. I'm sure the backlash is going to be fierce and they will probably end up rolling this back or changing it or something because Charging people for things you used to get by playing the game is not a good idea. Uh, it's not a smart decision, even if it doesn't really affect me that much. And um, yeah, so what is actually going on here? Uh, Reroll tokens for Endeavors and the Admiralty system will no longer be awarded starting tomorrow by playing the game. You will now have to buy them for Dilithium, with Dilithium for 2,500 a piece. And uh, yeah, this is not gonna be popular at all. It is a permanent dill sink in a sense because, you know, this is something that you can keep buying over and over again. The Admiralty missions keep uh, coming all the time and uh, endeavors are every day. It's not like the Vanity Shields where you can buy it out and it's done, but yeah, this is not what I think anybody wanted. I don't think it's gonna have that much of an impact and it's definitely gonna generate a lot of backlash, so. Um, I got really excited at first because when I saw Endeavor, I thought they were going to let us start buying Endeavor points with Dilithium. I would have been all over that. So if they want, you, if you want me to buy Zen and buy Dilithium off the Dilex, start selling Endeavor points for Dilithium. I will put my money where my mouth is there because uh, I need to get caught up. So um, yeah, this is um, this is a this is a train wreck. This is a train wreck in progress and. Uh, I'm going to get some popcorn and I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. See you in the next one and bye for now.